Hello people, I'm sorry for the distortion, I am feeling kind of French today, and my accent is a bit funny, like a Canadian, it's all about the accent. <laughs> hey guys, this is Abratio, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on fucking color correction. Uh, many people have been have been requesting I do a tutorial on color correction, and since I'm not that good of an editor, I just started making good edits, and um, hopefully I will be able to fulfill all your color correcting needs. So let's import a file. <coughs> Okay, um, let's see now, um, let's see, should we color correct a smooth or an NI? I don't know. Let's color correct an NI. So, wait, BAM, motherfucker, BAM. Okay, so let's color correct from here to here. So it's like four frames of color correction but that's all we know that's not what we need need more oh, oh shit this is a long process I don't want to do this Come on, give me a break, please. Okay, so let's see now. There we go. There, there are our color correction from it. Yeah, from it. Okay, so um, there are two ways of doing color correction. One way is by using the default legacy plugins that come with uh, After Effects, and the other is with the standard like Magic Bullet looks. I always like to um, mix it up, like sometimes I use magic bullet looks, sometimes I use um, curves and such, but I mostly use Colorista because it's fucking awesome. Like, all you need to do for a good color, you know? With, with that, with, with that. Okay, um, Colorista is a wonderful plugin, but you know, uh, looks just has lots of um, little knobs and peaks that you can tweak plus we get this awesome little um rgb parade like this graph or this slice graph and such and my uh bell is ringing like shit um okay let's see now okay so back to the tutorial i let's see now um Let's choose a different shot. Um, okay, so um, this is Magic Bullet Looks. If you're not familiar with it, where the f fuck would you go? Um, okay, um, now let's look at our graph first. We have a bunch of red, we have a green, we don't have enough blue. So, um, got a subject. I'm gonna crush and just set those black tones to blue so that way we can crush the blacks and turn them into blue pretty nice eh so um now that we done that we've done that we can just lower the saturation a bit like 75% and in the mat, you can set like a gradual diffusion, you know, like that. I mean, gradually change the exposure, or just add a spot exposure like that. A little bit, like 0.2 something, and just extend that shit. Actually, let's just add some diffusion because diffusion always looks good. Highlight some we know. Highlight bias.
Yep, that looks good. Like size should be about 45%. Now in the lens tab, we can add some edge softness and always, I mean always choose the quality of two. Uh, 10 and the blur size. Oh, well, really doesn't matter, you know? Of course. Let me just center this. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, let's see now. Um, range saturation. Let's high. Let's up the highlights a bit, or just let's lower the highlights a bit actually, and increase the mid tones. A bunch of like 125 or something. Let's see if I'll look like really nah. You probably need the shadows to be at 100% opacity. So now choose left gamma gain. And just play around with the colors a bit. Color correcting is like real fun, you know? It's really fun once you get into it. And as you can see, we made a nice bleach bypass kind of deal. Of course, we can always add a bleach bypass on top of that. But we don't need to. We just need some telesign. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we just need some uh, curves on top of that. And a little bit of contrast. And look at what we made. We made this into this the magic bullet looks of course let's let's actually bring that back and add a tint effect on it and lower the opacity of the actual tint see what we get we get a bleach bypass kind of deal of course let's add some uh, color correction like curves add some contrast to this of course we have enough contrast but you know contrast rules you know you can always like take the black and put them into white you know like take the little black dot and just raise it up so we don't have blacks like only silver no black you know I always like to do that and of course we can always make a new not an Adobe Photoshop file, but a new adjustment layer. And uh, in that adjustment layer, you can always um, uh, add a stylized glow. And uh, let's see, alpha channel, no. color channel. Shit, that looks ugly. Alpha channel, color channel. Uh -huh. Oh shit, this looks amazing. Like, holy fuck. Like, if this had more radius, it would be like, this fucking effect duels. Like, like a pulsating effect, you know? And of course, we can set the colors to the and B colors and uh, make them blue. So that way, we got a blue tint. Let's lower the opacity of this, like to 0.25. Or actually, let's make them orange. Fucking orange, you know? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks real good. Especially if we do that and just lower the intensity a bit. This looks fucking awesome. So, um, yeah, I am Abrishu. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. 
I will be uh, doing more tutorials, uh, but I don't know what to do them on. I can make a tutorial on Photoshop and compositing and shit, but I don't know what to do the tutorial on. I'm just confused as you are. I want to do tutorials, but I don't want to. I don't know what to do them on. You know. So um, leave me suggestions in the comments. Shit, I burped. Um, never mind. Leave me suggestions in the comments. Of course, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, like I'm not a subscribe for, but uh, just subscribe so you know when my new tutorial is out and shit. Or just like add me as a friend, you know, because uh, fr um, that shit's awesome. So um, I might even do tutorials on Cinema 4D if you want. So, um, yeah, I'm a ratio, rate, comment, subscribe, add me as a friend, and, uh, I will be seeing you later.